This actor was banned by Hollywood for his faith. He might have appeared in Yellowstone or Band of Brothers. In Suits and Boomtown, he played important roles. But he's been relegated to B-movies in Hollywood. It's because he's a Christian, the actor claims. His religious convictions forbid him from looking forward to physical scenes. That, it seems, significantly limits his options. The 56-year-old man claims he is fine with it. His faith in God and his wife's affection are what are important to him. Neil McDonough is who he is. In 2000, Neil met the South African model Ruve Robertson. You're tall, he remarked to her right away. Then he called his then-girlfriend and told her, I'm sorry, but it's not going to work out between us anymore. I just met the woman I'm going to marry. He did so three years later. They are currently parenting five kids. Neil made it very obvious right away that he didn't want to record any kissing scenes because he loves his wife so much. McDonough declared, I won't kiss any other woman because these lips are only for one woman. McDonough was slated to star in Scoundrels on ABC in 2010. However, ABC dismissed him for refusing to participate in kissing sequences. Neil initially believed it to be the end of his career. I remember falling to my knees and saying, God why have you forgotten about me? Why am I being punished so much? And as soon as those words came out of my mouth, I realized what self-absorbed questions those were. God has given me so much. We all experience challenges in our lives. I should be grateful for all the blessings I'm given. He was never given any roles, though. He was regarded as a crazy religious guy by executives in Hollywood and television. But that wasn't the case. I love my wife, but I love my acting too. I was hopeful that, at some point, someone would give me a chance again. Mark Cherry gave him a role on Desperate Housewives, which gave him the chance. The program isn't exactly renowned for being chased, of course. McDonough, in Cherry's opinion, would gladly consent to anything. After all, he hadn't performed on stage in a while. But Neil was determined to keep his word. Cherry argued, but this is desperate housewives, I know, Neil said. After a pause, Cherry sighed, okay, I'll just have to write better. This, according to Neil, is a sign of contemporary filmmaking. He expresses disbelief that this is even being discussed. I won't mention the Lord's name in vain, and then I won't kiss another woman. Sex scenes aren't in it for me. And I think, gosh, there are enough sex scenes out there. And me being in my 50s, I'm not sure if anyone wants to see me doing that stuff anyway, said McDonough. Reuven Neil managed to get off the blacklist. They made the decision to make their own movies. According to Neil, their movies will have a faith backdrop. They will be faith-friendly, albeit not overtly Christian. According to McDonough, his films will exalt God. Our aim is to make a film that genuinely exalts him. That's our goal, and we're incredibly lucky to be able to do it," said Neil. Recently, McDonough concluded her tenure as host of Christmas with the Tabernacle Choir on PBS. He urges everyone to watch it. It's a humbling feeling to be part of an event like this. I am the luckiest guy in the world, said McDonough.